In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to quickly find and bookmark items in the GXWorks 3 program and the eManual Viewer. We'll also use eManual Viewer to contact tech support, and we'll learn how to get code into GXWorks 3 software from the eManual Viewer. With the program open, we want to find a step counter, but we're not sure where to look. We can go to the Find Replace menu and select Quick Find, or if preferred, we can use shortcut keys. To find a step counter with a shortcut, hold down Control and hit Q. The Quick Find menu will appear. We type in the word step. Not only do we see the functions of the software itself, but we also see any places in the program where the word step has been mentioned. In the Quick Find result, we double click on one of these items and it will take us to that place in the ladder. This took us to every place that has the word step mentioned in it. If we go to this step register, it looks like a step counter, but we're not really sure what this instruction is doing. So we highlight the instruction, hit F1, and this will automatically bring up eManual Viewer here and take us to the instruction in eManual Viewer for this. eManual Viewer will show us everything we need to know about that instruction, including what hardware it is and is not supported on, all of the variable definitions, how it's used in the scan, and any error codes that are related to that instruction. Now, we might be concerned about remembering what all of these variables mean. What we can do is create a bookmark and type in step counter instruction and click add. So we can see that under bookmarks, we've got step counter instruction. Now we know where to find that in eManual Viewer, but we don't want to lose that in the software. We want to know where it's located, especially with all of the different programs. It's important to find it very quickly so that we can troubleshoot. We right click and select bookmark. Now we have a bookmark for that step in the program. We now rename it so that we know what it is and we name it step counter. That way, if we need to come back to the project later to troubleshoot, we can do that very quickly and jump right into the step counter. If we're not sure if the instruction is operating as it should, or if we have a question about that instruction, we can go to eManual Viewer. In the lower right-hand corner is Page ID. When we click on Page ID, it will copy that reference for our use. We can email our local Mitsubishi representative and paste that Page ID information into the body of the email, and it helps them identify the subject of our question and provide them with more details. One other beneficial feature of eManual Viewer is when we're adding an analog module or a temperature module or something similar to our PLC code. We can look in the manual for whatever module we're adding and we have some sample code. There's a link that says copy ladder program for GXWorks 3. If we click yes to the prompt, do you want to check a usage method? It's going to tell us exactly how to use the copy and paste and all of the accompanying precautions. So we can copy and paste the program and different variables related to the hardware that we're about to add to the system right into our program. This feature is a tremendous help when we are programming or making a modification to a program. If we go back to the program and select where we want to put that new code, then paste, we will see all that code from eManual Viewer is now in our program. Then we just need to make sure that all of the addressing is accurate. Compile it and write it down to the PLC. So we are able to quickly add to the system, modify the program, and find and troubleshoot things in the program using the built-in features of GXWorks 3 and eManual Viewer. Thank you for joining us for this instructional segment.